Hello everybody. In this video, I'll be talking about the MiniRx multi-head. If you haven't, please check out our previous MiniRx comparison video. In addition to having an embedded microphone, the MiniRx also supports an external one or even multiple. While the standard version is perfect when you have a small configuration, an external microphone is useful when even this is too big. For example, when you need the location of your robot, but you don't want to place the beacon outside. In this case, hide the beacon inside the body of your robot. Note that if you do so, make sure radio coverage is still provided. So don't place the beacon inside of metal, as you will not have radio coverage. When you hide the beacon inside of your robot, and put the external antenna on top, as we usually recommend to minimize obstruction for the stationary beacons. All you will need is a similar opening at the top. The external microphone is effectively the same sensor as here, but connected by cable, which can be up to one meter long. Currently, we support two microphones. For example, one embedded one, one external one, or two external ones. In the future, we'll be able to support up to seven external microphones. If you need a configuration that gives you both the location and direction, then you will need two external microphones. Putting them farther apart will give you a more accurate direction angle. A very similar system of paired beacons is used in a non-inverse architecture in this video. As you can see, the MiniRx is a very versatile option. By default, we offer the MiniRx with an embedded microphone. The multi-head version is available by request. If you have questions, then take a look at our forum, read a manual, and check out other videos on this channel. You can also drop us an email at info at Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next video.